Yeah, you got a Chai, you got a me, you got a dog, we got a cat, I got my bottle of water. Colonel Sanders, sexy bottle. Mm. Look yeah. at that defined jawline. <laughs> that comes yeah. from chewing all the chicken. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't help but love the Colonel. Okay then, I guess that's enough, uh... That's enough, uh, messing around. Let's get started. Hmm, I'm not sure why I'm picking up a little bit of interference. Oh, the splitter. Are you letting me down, splitter? Um, every time I move the mouse, it's like a sharp clicking noise. Are you hearing that? That, that click? Yeah. Isn't that part of the, the menu? Oh, yeah. Thank you, dear. I, I'm an idiot sometimes. Okay, so that is the... Okay, let's click. Oh, God, that's loud. Okay, um, we're gonna get started now. <laughs> what should our name be? Delicious. Okay, you gotta spell that. D I don't know. D-E-E. <laughs> D-E-E. Space. Space. Delicious. I don't know how to spell that. L... The shell, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm having very far today. Uh, Twitch chat, help me out. <laughs> okay, we're at D. I, I failed. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Look, man. I'm having a hard time here. And I felt What is that? Language. <laughs> English. There Delicious. you go. Delicious. Uh, ah, it's so loud. I need to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Thank I you, I want Jeff. that as a screensaver. <laughs> Biscuits and drumsticks. All right, I got it. I got a screen captured. <sighs> okay, so I already spelled it failing. Chicken and biscuits. So now I got to not suck at reading. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Well, I guess I just click anywhere? Yes. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the moment forever. I like reading it. <laughs> It's like reading a novel to you guys. This should be fun. Look at the uh, uh, background. Look at look at the uh, the jewelry box. It's actually <laughs> the KFC, the KFC box. Ba a basket. <laughs> and is that chicken fighter? Yeah. It's got we got very anime settings. I never lived in a college dorm, so I, I don't know what it's like. I was a student commuter, cause I was cheap. <laughs> Chicken Fighter 5 Arcade Edition. I yes. like it. Okay, let's get moving. Uh, yeah, still is expensive. Oh, what is that annoying noise? Oh, shut up, alarm clock. Throw it out the window and stay in bed forever. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. You slept through the school year and gave up on a once in a lifetime opportunity <laughs> to be Colonel Sanders. All right, stream <laughs> over. Good night, everybody. Oh, game over already. Oh, yeah. It was not even, not even five minutes. No, oh, give me a high five. Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> New record. I like it. Three shot net. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Chicken and biscuits, baby. So that's one ending. Within less than 10 minutes of turning this thing on. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. That don't count. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep soft. Right, you can skip that. <laughs> You're skipping the dialogue. Blah, blah, blah. Smack that alarm clock and up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. God, that's a mouthful. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. So... You need to take this seriously. So we have a... Everybody agrees on you need to take this seriously or get the obvious game over again? No, we need to take this seriously. <laughs> Look, look, we need to take this seriously. Delicious. I better make myself... That's my... That's our name. Yes, I better that's make. <laughs> I better make my make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Yes, we yeah, have taken it seriously. Bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed. 
Air combed. Pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. Confidently grab a biscuit, stride off the door, and head off to class. Makes <laughs> jumping noises. Just what you need to get your blood flowing. Intelligence up my car. Yes, just just look at the steam coming off that. That looks amazing. Just need some sausage or chicken in it and be perfect. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. Did I say that right? Miriam. Miriam. Lady name. Yeah, it is. Stupid dog. <laughs> She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. So, do you want to do Miriam, dear? Good morning, delicious. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? <laughs> Act oh, that's, that's actually, <laughs> I'm... Because I am excited and a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. Says, do we have to love her? Um, do we have to love her, dear? You love her with all your heart. You must protect her. You heard that, dear? Tiny chicken waifu. You must protect her at all costs. Not only must we love her, we have to protect her. What the? It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but... Well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef Harris, he's always held herself to a very high standard. I was about to say Master Chief. <laughs> Believe in yourself, Miriam. Master Chief is delicious. <laughs> Master Chief is good at cooking covenants, Ace. Yeah. Oh man, would you imagine if they made like a Master Chief Halo dating sim? <laughs> <laughs> Master Chief is impressed how you impressed how you snipe those foes. <laughs> oh, can, can you win his heart? <laughs> Only if you can whip that warhog. <laughs> uh, uh, it's hard to take this game seriously. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's made by KFC. <laughs> of course it's. Hey, at least I didn't pay anything for it. Ever since we were little babies, playing together, and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> so with the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, famous three-day only semester, <laughs> I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Can you just roll into next semester next week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, focus, focus. <laughs> The sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth uh, practicing on a mannequin. Uh, Dio asks, don't they have a shorter name for that school? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Of course, you want to love and protect. A pep talk. Uh, weirdo. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Hmm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I'm trying to forget. I know, she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you're destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet that handsome fellow I can call my own. Are we in school for learning or for boys? Man, we're in school for the, the sex. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating and you'll be delighting in the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. In three days. <laughs> Chicken and chill. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes, yes we can. You can definitely believe it. Oh, I'm the head of the game. I love this. Okay, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, cannot believe it. 
before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone someone smacks your books and uh, custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! Is hey to Ashley? Yeah, Ashley. Okay. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She get anything she wants, and she knows it. That's because she has a <laughs> sweet rack. Yeah. Theo says, wow, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Does she work for Popeyes? <laughs> Maybe, looks like it. A little bit. Red and black. Um... Well, you're good at these volley girl voices. Can you I'll, really I'll do see? the best I can, baby. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there, chicken shins. Who <laughs> <laughs> leave delicious shins alone? They're pretty normal shins. Perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's Ashley Ashley, but she had to add an extra letter to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the Man Man, that stops to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> Van Van? Oh, look at her face. <laughs> you rang? You rang rang? You've never been sure what their arrangement is. But as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Oh, wait, that is totally a JoJo's pose if yes, I've ever seen is. one. See, Dio beat it to us. It looks like a JoJo's Get character. Get in the car. Get in the car, loser. <laughs> one pose. Yari Yari Dazi. Yari Yari. There you go. Thank you, dear. <laughs> That's why I need the second hand around. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, God, any abbreviation, would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. The amateurs can learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Uh. See you later, losers. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Yeah, I do have a biscuit to eat. Fart uh. noises. Uh. <laughs> Oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pour the door open. That was, um, that, uh, that should do the trick. I love you! I think you mean, thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Is someone, I like this, also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag says, clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, God. <laughs> Dio says he's adorable. I see. Hi, Pop. I'm delicious. So, are you going to make me hold on this door all day? Nope. And with that, the other man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? It's just you. I Damn, I'm ahead of the game. I think it's just you. My mind is like sharing the same wavelength as my character. And yes, he is very bright. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium in front at the front of the class. Adorable! Delicious indeed. 
Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why he's why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, an instructor, CEO of UCS. AM. Finally, an abbreviation. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Oof. <laughs> Wait, that CEO? We don't ask these kind of questions around here, Dio. We just accept them. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. <laughs> That's a good point, and I am D. And that is a it, that is a inside joke to uh Haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto. <laughs> Sakamoto! <laughs> Sakamoto cool! Uh, if you ever haven't seen that anime, you, you should watch it. It's stupid. We're jumping ahead. Okay. I'm chilly, someone closed the window. And then he walks in. You also want to do the sand the colonel? Oh, You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <gasps> it's... it's him! If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dawes, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rose through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly the room is sweltering. <laughs> Blood begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Oh. And this over this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Real mature. Maybe we should open that window <clears throat> before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Oh, aren't you clever? Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name and we were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, with delicious sweats, it's not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Take a moment to clean yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Wait, shouldn't you put deodorant on before you leave? Well, you didn't. You don't remember in the beginning it said teeth brushed, hair comb, it's deodorized. Oh, okay, so this is just like a touch up. Oh, it's saying it's I a good thing. Oh, Lord. No, I was. Read? Yeah, I did read it. I was just thinking, like, you know, some people bring extra deodorant with them. Yeah. yeah that's what I was thinking. Yeah, D made sure. He is sure. Professor yeah. Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some ground rules. Really is a hot dog. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The, birth the birthplace of culinary legends past and present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There may even be an adorable, really adorable tiny food. I can't read because of the contract. I... Yeah... But that's the excuse I'm standing by. I can't read. That works too. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift. You will lift your sporks and compete in the room cooking arena. Room cooking arena. Really, the KFC experience. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, I'm sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but you interrupt my monologue. You're on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? 
Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. You know, with three day long semesters, that's really bad. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finished. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable, Wolf. <laughs> Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Courtesy the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. And dessert were The class bursts into laughter. Yes, he did bring the ratchet. It's like, okay, so you got the oven part now in there. What is the top? Is that like a, um, <laughs> whatever you're looking like at. A, looks like a uh, ice clam. And he's blinking. Yeah, this thing's scaring me. This thing's creeping me the hell out. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivite. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never heard a talking dog as a, you've never had a talking dog as a teacher before. But Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Yes, the robot is the stuff of nightmares. Uh, you decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Okay, this so is a, this is a game made by a chicken joint. So it would obviously be the chicken snack, but we'll give Jeff a moment to input thoughts. Hey Jeff, this is a chicken joint. There you go. The chicken snack. Excellent. We all agree. You reach beneath your apron and return with the chicken snack in your hand. Spring's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for our new star student. This is bribery. The fairy professor immediately devours a snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Dogs are warm. <laughs> you know I love chicken. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay, them, pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. That is life advice. I would follow that. Always keep a range of uh, dog flavor treats, dog treats, varying flavors. You never know when you need them, especially the next time your professor turns out to be a, um, a dog. Life advice, folks. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to you. Culinary creation. Everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats. You're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, delicious! There's still a seat over here! It seems no one has claimed a seat next to me, if you're interested. Okay, so you know how we said we were going to protect Miriam earlier, but this is the Colonel. Yo, that boy was <laughs> sexy, man. She, she be aight. Okay, well, so we got one for the, uh... The sexy. The sexy. What do you think, Dio? I think thoughts and type stuff. I'm gonna have a drink of water. Colonel, it's unanimous. Screw you, Miriam. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. He appears... It appears he brought no books, no pens, or pencils. However, his perfect, upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had, I only have two rules. Do all you can, and do, the, do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishment. Something, I cannot read on that contract. Uh, accomplishing something. something. It's hard okay. to see. Yes, you would think they would give everybody the little back, like a back, a, 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 a solid, a solid bar so you can read it. Yeah, they need to turn up the um, opacity. No, turn down the opacity. Whatever, whichever one makes it so we can see more of this text. Look at, look at them forearms. Look yeah, at they them are. Writing all that chicken. Mm. Yeah, it is. 
So I was working on shaking you everybody forums like that. Woo! <laughs> so I'm like, bam, look at this gun. Bam, this one too. Damn, Colonel, he's sexy. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you settle into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Wait, so is the narrator kind of just doing the own narrator thing? How can you not love Colonel Sanders? No one can. Everybody loves Colonel Sanders. It's in the title. Damn right it's in the title. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. I almost read that as poop quiz. <laughs> oh, the contrast. I'm blaming the contrast. Yay, a quiz about me. This this incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is to wash your hands before cooking? Um. Okay, I'm going to go with the, the middle one. Extremely looking at you, Pop. What do you think, fellas? Of course you wash your hands before you cook. Okay. Looking at you, Pop. That's right. Horse is a tree as chicken is too. I'm gonna go with feather. That's feather. Night vision goggles would be interesting, but I don't think chickens are known for that. Unanimous for feather. That's right. I also would accept it a slam dunk. Excellent. What is the most effective eating utensil <laughs> ever created? Um, you know, because it's a KFC game, you kind of have to go with spork. <laughs> I mean, I would love the dash to be a comically oversized fork. So we got two for sporks. Waiting on the Dio. That's right. What food is hey, best? Hey, 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 that's my line. I'm sorry. What food <laughs> is best for a broken heart? <laughs> I guess the first one, anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat. Oh, yeah, camel <laughs> meat. <laughs> Pancake that looks like a silly face? That'd also be fun. Uh, okay, so we all agree on anything. I said camel meat. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's <meat> right. <laughs> How do you know you never had it? The sprinkles good boy. Hey, hey, hey! That's my line! Sorry! <laughs> Is sprinkles a good boy? Yeah. Wait, no, no. He's a talking dog teacher at Kelly Scenary School. He is the best oh. boy. Alright gonna go with we're gonna say Dio that you hope you agree with us and say he's the best boy he is best boy thank you Dio that's right total score is perfect five out of five we are awesome well be honest did you cheat of course not we would never cheat you look up and see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score he's impressed I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you're. I think you have a beautiful. Oh, we got hearts. <laughs> He's cheating off of you. That's probably right. Hot diggity delicious. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, Steve? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any uh, restaurant you've ever eaten at. I don't think so. It makes uh, sense that at a school dedicated to cooking, you'll be also be serious about eating. I've been in nicer restaurants than this. Delicious fragrance wafts in the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Dio will take a 10-piece combo. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. 
Everyone cheers. But I... Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said, shh! In honor of the new semester, I prepared, some, prepared something special to share with everyone. Aha! Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smell! Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. His contents glimmer into the light. It's all the grease. <laughs> Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that bucket. Screenshot. <laughs> the aroma envelops you and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. For years I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculations, nothing less than 11 Herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfection, perfected balance of flavors. Oh, hey, we got a new visitor in the room. Oh. Hold on one second. I just realized, sorry guys, give me a minute, I forgot to change the stream. Stream title. Aha, I knew there was something I was forgetting. Thank you. I forgot to change your name. Okay. Name has been changed. Thank you very much. Okay, and we're going next. We are back. Look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I have to say about that. What do you think we want? Uh, what you think we want our stupid recipe, dude? Psha! Nah, my dude. Nah. I'm just uh drafting a last will and testament in case uh one of those ingredients is uh poison. Got him. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. We wait to see what Zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smell something beautiful. I knew at that moment it was only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. <laughs> You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that she is destined that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Mm. Oh please. Hmm. Well, Von Von, the man man, if you don't want any. I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean I guess I'll try it takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in this pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Okay, and we got a question from the Twitch chat. Uh, is the music part of the game? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Easy now. This is enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Along with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. So we got, uh, focus your mind and meditate on this moment and try to identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that tells you... Two, 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 uh, two Okay, we two. got two. <laughs> okay. Uh, should we just go for two to move this on? Keep this two on. to keep it moving. Keep it moving. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. Along with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For man, for flavor, are they the same? 
After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second? Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold of you to come out and ask. It was an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that would make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all times as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you, me. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. <laughs> Definitely not an advertisement. It's clearly not to point to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Oh, that boy got a chocobo staff. <laughs> you know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Colonel Sanders is a chicken pimp. I love it. Yes, here we go. Yes, he is. Aw. You've got Moxie. Give me that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. And then he leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one. I can tell you. Like, <laughs> it's something my great grandmother told me. <laughs> wow, you never would have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some of the, some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside, look at the school building. Think about how my story will continue on after I graduate. Okay, okay, serious question. If the actual Colonel Sanders were still alive and kicking, what would you think he would think of this game? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, apparently, he was a reserved kind of guy, so he might not even care. Or he might be horrified. <laughs> okay, on with the game. Ah, Dio says he'd love it. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say, the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Blown together for the first time, you figure out now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Um, okay, nag on him to show your own strength. I want the big idea to add an additional green to really spice things up. Be modest but thoughtful. I say be modest and thoughtful. Okay, I'm kind of torn between number two. I kind of want to wild with the big idea. No, no, you know what? 11 herbs and spices is good enough, so I'm going to be modest but thoughtful too. We're all in agreement. I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. God, that is hard to read. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery. It was perfect. I appreciate the compliment. I'm sure you'll be a big success. You know, we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. We should head back inside. Next lesson starts. Step into the massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Yes, Colonel Sanders does love us too. Kumate, Kumate, Kumate. <laughs> Look at this place, it's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Oh, wait a second. Oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable teeny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking area. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off! Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. Oh, we're feeling ferocious. 
Hey Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two? That is, me and you, if that wasn't clear? Want to be my partner? Aww. Sure, delicious. I'll prepare our station. Yes, that was a top tier betrayal. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Poor Miriam. Hello, new partner. Beep bop bzzz. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Oops, hey, sorry. Hey, sorry. Hey. <laughs> oh my, two partners. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to go who to choose. Looks like you had to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Wow. That's fucked up. What do you want to ask to be Miriam? Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Okay, uh, I'll let you guys decide. I go with Pop, because she is un cold and unfeeling. Yeah, one for Pop. How about you, Dio? Whew. Got another one for Pop. Got a majority for Pop, so let's go with Pop. Yeah, Yo. Pop. Sorry, Clint, but I think Mary will be partnering with Pop today. Where Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef. He holds up banana and without peeling it, he probably eats the entire thing. This this is uh, disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to act grossed out. You love I love your enthusiasm, Pop. I'm sorry. Looks at you like, really? This kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now, it's time for you to focus on your own cooking classwork. Alright, you two. In today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a base, basic dish and div divide up the steps. I cannot read that content. No chef is on the island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get, you get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Um, I mean, come on, it's KFC. KFC. So uh, I'd say mashed potatoes and gravy. We got two. So uh, Twitch chat, what do you guys think, real quick? Number three, we we got a majority here. Oh, he's got hearts. He liked it. I've always been something of a down-home chef. I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> and gravy? I couldn't imagine one without the other. Just like us. Colonel Sanders cast a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is passionate. Uh -huh. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does anybody, does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. You better keep your fingers off my man. Mm. Did someone call for me? <laughs> this heart is hard rock. Ah, uh, no, jeez, Van Van. While I'm looking over here, while I'm over here crushing on delicious, crushing delicious dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Muda! Wadi! There are no words. <laughs> Colonel Sanders returns, arms full of filled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns attention to you and your old friends. Oh, how do you Ashley, fine, fine. We're working in the quartet instead of a duo, a duet now. Mm. Actually, no. It looked like Delicious was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mental. Oh, yeah, this music is killing me. I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever 
about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, this part of was quite spectacular. The fact that the white, every time I'm reading something, there's something white in the background. You can't see it. Like, they need to make the contrast darker. Yeah, this is Van Vane's, uh, it. it does need more pyro. <laughs> but Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that poisoned itself, positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that he cast complimentary sandals to fit together like a guy in a dumpster? It makes, it just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. The one thing is clear. He's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. Ashley is ready, is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Okay, so we got two choices. Turn to Colonel Sanders, punk to punk in your time of need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie will always have your back. Turn to Miriam. Miriam. Oh, yeah. What do you think, guys? Guys and gals? Miriam, I hope. All right, we got, uh, we got a majority. Turn to Miriam, and as soon as you find her, she senses it and looks back. This girl's friend in need radar is second to none. She immediately comes running over. Is somebody threatening my friend? I will destroy them! Actually, I think Ashley and Van Van were just leaving. Leaving you in the dust. These would be my skills as a chef, perhaps. But stepping away from this competition, you're sorely mistaken. Miriam, you're a loyal friend, but Delicious is my partner for the day's activity. Look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Throwing those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture. Plenty of butter and cream for the flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through your steps and you know, you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering a nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows. Oh, thank God this music stops. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so much better. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny will be very proud. Mm. Okay, I, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Hold on. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. Oh, he's so handsome. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and let the heaving spore pull up. We see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then... Yo, oh God, it's back. Why? <laughs> and then filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spore full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Hey man, do something! Do something! Excuse me, you have a finger, a finger full of Van Van tasty dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slings away. Will you ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on. Hold on right here, Delicious. We do not waste food in the boom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better for you. Now, if you throw one more spoon in, you both better be prepared to eat whatever it is. Eat from wherever it lands. Can I have a potato face? Bam Bam rushes back over. A covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes and gravy? Pathetic! In just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty, raised tentacle of octopus and say silky saltwater sauce. Played it on a battle wax blade forged by our supreme chef ancestors. <laughs> You've ignored me for too long. This ends now. It is I who will have the first bite and you will look and you will all look on with envy. And the other student rushes at Van Van and spice a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! Something about that dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed. It may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late, it has been eaten. 
Uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It killed him! <laughs> that guy's a murderer. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look at the when you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. Yes, the tip of the tentacle then stirred up and pops him up. Pop which is the pain for just a moment, but then it's almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie! Tastes like poison. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock that throws the whole crowd. Hair is motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite the obvious danger, has inoculated him against poison of all kinds. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the professors have hair make enough money. I'm not sure if I can take another round of that, uh, <laughs> that guitar. Music. God, my ears burned. Um, hello. I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by the by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk.